Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you guys can tell by the title, this is your favorite video. You guys love when I do these videos. So today I'll be trying out a bunch of new drugstore makeup. Whether it's new on the market, new to me, it's just gonna be a bunch of new products. And I'm gonna let you guys know that even though it's affordable, if it's actually worth your money. So I hope that you guys enjoy. And if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty, let's get into it. I'm super excited. We have so many products to try out today and I'm just very excited about a lot of them. So we are gonna try a new to me uh, base product. So I'm gonna stick to what I always use when I'm trying out a new product. I like to go in with the Glow Recipe Nice and in my Dew Drops. This is like skincare as well as a primer. This has never done me wrong and so it's just like a good like primer to use when I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. So we're gonna apply that. It's a little hard to read, but this is the Pacifica Kind Tint. It's a tinted serum natural coverage. I know it looks little, but it does have one fluid ounce, which is um, what most like base products have. And it says it's a multitasking hydrating tinted serum with collagen, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, niacinamide, and caffeine. I got the shade uh, 15. Hopefully it's my right match. I just love skin tints. I cannot get enough of them, especially in the summer. I'm gonna put only about that much just to see how far that gets us. Okay, so right off the bat, this is definitely a little bit more creamy than like liquidy, but it still feels lightweight. It kind of feels like a like an actual moisturizer, like a tinted moisturizer. And then we'll be using the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A507 to blend it out. Um, okay, this is like completely separating. It might not work well with this, which is what I literally just said works with everything. It's just not blending at all, which sucks because I, I just did my skincare. Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna wipe it off and try again. I'm back. I literally took off everything and just added some uh, moisturizer. I really, really hope that this works out for me because um, I will say when I did apply it, it, um, it did start oxidizing. So uh, I don't even know if the shade will work for me. Okay, so it seems like it just didn't go well with uh, the nice and my dew drops or maybe some other skincare that I had under. So um, that's why I don't like to try like new primers with new base products. So far it's giving me a light to medium coverage, exactly what I expected. And like I said, it's not like super liquidy. It has a little bit of a creamy consistency. And um, it's giving me like a very natural glow. Definitely not greasy. You guys know I love that. I love glowy but not greasy. So here is what half of the face looks like. And again, it is slowly oxidizing. So um, I think you should definitely go one shade lighter. Um, but right now it is looking really pretty. It definitely gave me a very light coverage. Now that I'm looking at it, I wouldn't say light to medium. I would definitely say light but it did make my skin look nice and like a little bit more even. So that's the difference. So let's go ahead and do the other side. Obviously we'll have to see how everything goes on top, but so far I am liking it. I'm not like extremely impressed, but it's cute. It's cute. This is actually like the perfect no makeup makeup. Like this truly um, doesn't look like I have any makeup on. So obviously depending on what you're looking for, that might be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, I don't know if this would be like my go-to if I really want to have like a full face of makeup on, um, but I do think it's pretty as like a very natural. Like this is definitely something I would put on and that's it, like don't wear any makeup. I give it like a seven out of 10 because I do have a pimple right here. Like nothing is covered, but it does look pretty. So I'll give it like a seven out of 10. Okay, so the next product that I have for you guys is a very, very uh, affordable, brand new cream bronzer. Yay, yay. So this is actually from Essence. I know it's hard to read, so I'll just let you know. It's the Essence Baby Got Bronze um, Bronzing Stick. They only have three shades. This might be the darkest shade. Um, I got the shade 30 Mocha Me Crazy. It is very small, but uh, very affordable, and it is like little packaging like this. So let's go ahead and apply this. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Alter Ego Angled Brush, the number three, and I'm just gonna grab some and then start applying it and see where that gets us. And I like to tap. Okay, all right. Right off the bat, we got pigmentation, but it's like very lightweight. 
like it's not adding a thick layer it's not like super emollient but it definitely picked up quite a bit of product actually i don't know though if it's picking up the foundation on top that skin tint might not be good you guys because this is looking a little patchy oh my god here we go again um I don't know about this, you guys, uh, because, listen, I know I've never tried the bronzer, but I have tried the blush, and it worked really, really well. Um, I think, I can't, I don't think we can, like, try a bunch of new products when this could possibly be just not good. So, um, I take it back. I don't give it a 7 out of 10. I'm going to keep trying it out for you guys, but right now it's just not working out. It's separating. It's just not looking good. Um, so, I'm going to take off my makeup again. <laughs> And I'll be right back and we'll just start over again. Okay, I'll make it quick. I'll make it quick I know this is a lot to watch But I'm keeping it in the video on purpose so that you guys see like a real reaction to these products, which I'm sure you probably want I am back. Um, I haven't used this many uh, makeup wipes in a while um, Okay, I currently have on the best skin tint that I've tried in a long time Which is the Ulta Beauty youthful glow foundation serum drops. I get the shade medium olive. It's amazing I love it never does me wrong Moving on. So I'm just gonna grab, again, the Laura Lee Los Angeles brush and grab some and then start pouncing it in. This brush is really nice because it like contours to your face and it really just diffuses product. Like this is not for like very strategic bronzing. This is like all over, sun-kissed. And now that I'm applying this bronzer, it looks beautiful. Uh, so I'm glad I took off that skin tint because I never want to, um, you know, review a product the wrong way. Just being wrong, you know? Obviously everything's personal preference, but right now, this bronzer is looking really, really nice. And it's giving my skin a really pretty glow as well. I think the only con is obviously just the shade range, you know? It's just very disappointing, but um, if you do think this shade would work for you, uh, this is actually really, really nice. So oh, I definitely recommend this. I do, I do think it's really, really pretty. We don't have a full phase of new products, so we're gonna skip on a couple things right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some of my makeup that I don't have new products for, and then I'll come back and um, show you guys some new products. Was that redundant? Alrighty, guys, moving on to the brows. So I have two brow products that I'm gonna see if we can try out. This is from Essence and the other one's from NYX. I'm definitely more intrigued than these. Um, this one I bought it myself. I'm, some of the, most of these products I actually bought myself. So this is brand new, brand spanking new. This is the NYX Zero to Brow Gel. I use all NYX brow gel products or just brow products in general. So I'm very excited about this. It says use spoolie to groom the brows in place, color in the brows with a dofa applicator, and then allow the product to dry without touching it for 60 seconds. And then that's how it's supposed to set in place. Um, I did get this shade Chocolate. Okay, it has a spoolie. And then I guess this is the brow gel. So that's kind of what confuses me. Oh, it's a twisty. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, okay, well, I was thinking we could try this out. And then if it doesn't hold the brow as much as I would like to, maybe we could try out this um, Essence one. So... Let me get close to my mirror. Let's see, I kind of want to go in with like a very light hand because this is very liquidy. Ah! And then start at the end. And then work my way up to the front so I don't have like too much product in the front. And then maybe with the side. And just brush it. And then I guess you don't touch it. Brush it and don't touch it. Not obsessed with it right now. Um, I feel like you can't really get much definition. Things are getting a little messy. Ah, I don't know what to do. Okay, well that just looks like very messy. Um, but let's, this says not to touch, let's let it dry. Obviously like it really did do something for my brow. Um, it was just like a little hard to use, but I'll go ahead and do the other side. Okay, um, that was just not fun at all. I feel like my makeup looks very uh, messy. I, this has dried for more than a minute. Um, yeah, um, it's, it's a fail, unfortunately. Um, I think maybe if you already have amazing brows that maybe you don't need to, like, gel into place, this might be, like, an easy way to just kind of, like, fill them in a little bit, but I actually do have to structure my brows a bit, and this was just, like, really messy, and it's not really holding, like, this looks really, really bad, um, 
this video though. I'm gonna scrape off whatever I can scrape off. Um, that went just horrible. I had to get out my makeup wipe again and just take it off and start from the beginning. It was just not meshing well. So I just um, went to my trusty NYX. Uh, this is a Thicket Stick It. It's an amazing brow gel. It's really nice and thickening and I use the shade Brunette. Alrighty, um, all right, yeah, let's keep on going. Woo! Um, I'm actually very excited about the eyeshadows, so hopefully you are too. Okay, so for eyeshadows, we have brand new eyeshadow palettes from e.l.f. And they're bigger, they're not the bite size, and they do have um, 10 different shades. I did get uh, these two. I believe they have four different versions of it, but I wanted to test these out because this one's all matte, and then this is like a shimmer and matte. Um, I think they used to have like palettes like this. I'm pretty sure I still have some, but long, long time ago. This is like the bite size formula, in one big palette that would be amazing so this one again is in the shade rose gold this reminds me a lot kind of like the huda beauty rose gold palette and then we have the all matte this one's called summer breeze and like i said all mattes really really pretty so i figured let's just create a look with both of these all right so big fluffy brush this is laura lee l36 i'm gonna grab this shade right here it's like a camel shade it looks like the perfect like warm tone transition. Oh my gosh, this is pigmented. Oh my gosh, I, I know, I know, I just started, I know, I know, but I have a feeling that this is the bite size um, formula because that shade alone just felt amazing. All right, so that was beautiful. By the way, there are no shades in the back, that's why I'm just pointing them out. With a smaller brush, um, let's see, this is Laura Lee L37. Um, I think I'm gonna grab this shade and maybe add a little bit of like a, it's like a salmon color. Um, I do wish there was a little bit more difference in these shades. Um, there's like a lot of light shades. I wish there was a couple like deeper ones, uh, but it just seems like a pretty good like just essentials palette. But I'm just gonna put this shade under the crease and on the outer corner. I don't even know what look I'm going for, but I'll just say that these shades feel super, super buttery, super smooth. They don't have a bunch of kickback. This is definitely just giving me hope because this feels just like the bite size. Ah, amazing. Mm, stunning. Oh, you know what? I forgot that I have this palette. Um, I'm gonna grab this shade right here and deepen it out a little bit more with a smaller brush. And this is an AOA Studio E136. Really, really pretty. Now we're getting smoky. So far, everything is blending super nice with each other. No issues. This is going really, really quickly because these shades are just going really, really nicely, actually. First brush, and I'm gonna take this little camel shade and I'm just going to diffuse the crease out a little bit. I don't want it to be too structured. I kind of just want like a blown out look. I am dying to try this shade out. I know it sounds dumb, but I love a matte shade to like really open up the eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that all over the first half of the lid. So far, so good, so pigmented. I'm loving it, I'm a fan. I'm loving these good vibes because this video has been a little cray cray. I'm also gonna use this shade just to clean up um, under the brow. And then with a clean brush, this is the um, BK Beauty A502. I'm just going to diffuse the two shades in the middle. These are the um, shimmer shades of the one palette with the shimmers. Um, I do think that they're nice. They're pigmented. They're very pretty. The only thing I'm noticing the difference between the bite size and these are that the shimmers are very thin and not like creamy and like super reflective. These are like very traditional shimmers. They do look really pretty, but just keep in mind that they're not gonna be as like shocking and like creamy and reflective as the ones from the Bite Size, unfortunately. So I think, um, I think because we have like a lighter ombre eye, I'm gonna use this shade just where like the white is, which is this shade right here. And I'm just gonna grab it on my finger and I'm gonna tap it all where that white cream shade is. So far, the sh just the shimmers are a little lackluster. They are pretty, I mean, for like maybe more like natural everyday looks, I do like them, but if you're looking for something like extremely shimmery and reflective, like this is not it. 
but I will say the mattes are stunning. So I'm still happy with the palette. I'm gonna grab the original Cree shade and I'm just gonna blow that out all over the lash line. And then I'm gonna go to the other palette and use um, that like warmer red shade that we use just to deepen out the lower lash line. Okay, with a flat brush, I'm gonna go back to the mattes palette and use this like black shade. And I'm just going to kind of like tight line my lashes with it so that we don't have to use any eyeliner. I think that these palettes are really nice and affordable. I think that the mattes, from what I can see, are a 10 out of 10. And I think the shimmers are like a 6 out of 10. If you don't need something super sparkly and you just want a little bit of like life and you like it to be like very subtle, then you might like it. But if you're expecting the shimmers from the bite size, like these are not it but the mattes are it. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna grab this shade right here and I'm gonna wet my brush and use it as my inner corner highlight. As you guys can see, because the brush is wet, I am getting a little bit more pigment, but it's still not like metallic-y, if that makes sense. And that is the look. I'm actually obsessed with the look. I'm super, super happy with it. But yeah, those are my thoughts on these palettes. Remember, they are only $10, and I do think that they're very sleek packaging. So I do have a lip stain that I want to try. We actually have a couple lip products that I want to try. So I figured let's start with the lip stain. So I did go ahead and pick this up. Um, I've never seen it and it said new at the store. So this is from LA Girl. It's called the Glossy Tint Lip Stain. I know everybody loves the lip stain and so do I. I actually like to overline my lips with a lip stain and then I take it off and then it just looks like I have big juicy lips. Um, so this is described as a so it just says long lasting stain, smooth and not drying, high gloss shine, lightweight, non-sticky. I got the shade Myth and it just says to apply a thin layer on the lips and then for a more intense look, apply a second. So I'm going to take off the lip gloss that I have on. I figured we could apply it and then while we let it sit for the stain, um, I could go ahead and do my mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on. By the way, this is the applicator. So far, nice and pigmented and easy to use. It has a little bit of a funky smell. That's okay. Very easy to work with, very creamy, and of course, very high shine. So I'm gonna go do my mascara and I'll be right back and we can see the stain that it leaves behind. Okay, um, I've been gone for quite a bit. Um, I I pretty much like mix like five different mascaras, so it's been quite a bit of time. Um, so hopefully we do have a good little stain that's gonna be left behind, but I will say, very comfortable. I don't even feel it on my lips. This is just a paper towel. There's not like a makeup wipe, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it off. Ooh, this is a really pretty shade, actually. It's like a deep berry. Oh my God, that is so pretty. You see what I mean? If you overline a little bit, it looks like you have juicy lips. It's stunning. I love it. I love it. And I was trying to figure out what shade I should pick. And this was definitely the shade I should pick. Um, I love it. That is gorgeous. It doesn't feel drying. It feels good. It's even. I really, really like it. I love it. So I do have um, a new SPF setting spray as well as a matte liquid lipstick as well as glosses. So let's try the glosses first. Um, these I literally got in the mail today from PR. These are from Luddy London. They look stunning. So these are the Lottie um, Shimmer Glaze. I have the shade Be Proud. It's for Pride Month and then um, Be Bold. So this is like a, like a peachy to gold to pink. And then this is like a purple, like iridescent type deal. I kind of want to try the iridescent. This is what the applicator looks like. Oh, this feels like a lip oil. Ooh, but like a thick lip oil. Oh my gosh, I love the way this feels. This looks so pretty. It's so shimmery. And you guys, it's described as a shimmer gloss, but... It feels like an oil, but like a thicker oil. You know how sometimes those lip oils feel very thin and you're almost like, need more? This is like the more. <gasps> that is so pretty. Mm, look at that shine. And the shades are like, yes, they're fun, but at the end of the day, they're like mainly translucent. So you can really add it to everything. And I think that looks really, really pretty with the lip stain. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I love that. I love that. I'm going to keep these 
in my bag. Um, okay, so thumbs up to that. I'm gonna let this sink into my lips a little bit because we need the hydration. Let me show you guys this setting spray. I already tried it. I really, really like it. This is the Morphe SPF Sunsetter. It's brand new. It's a 30 SPF setting spray. Uh, everyone's coming out with their own version of it. And I have to say, this has got to be my favorite so far. It is a very uh, fine mist. It's like not continuous, but it's like semi-continuous. And it smells like coconuts and it adds hydration to your face without looking greasy. Let me show it to you guys. So you just wanna shake it. So you see the face, okay, you see the face? Let me get my hair off of the face. Get off, okay, there we go. Did you see that? Did you see this, this mist? It does smell a little sunscreeny, but like more like coconuts. And it does add hydration. You see how my skin is a little shiny, but not overly. So I know that a lot of you guys are thinking about the e.l.f. one. Let me tell you guys the difference. This is 45 SPF, the e.l.f. one, and then the Morphe is 30. This one doesn't change your makeup at all, like at all. If you have more like uh, normal to, to oily skin, then maybe use this one. This one is hydrating and it does give the skin a little dew, but like the perfect amount. Like I'm perfectly happy with this. My makeup looks great. Um, fine mist, only 30 SPF, but feels and looks incredible. So I really think when it comes down to it is, do you want a little bit more protection and then do you want more of a natural dewy finish or just a natural finish? But they're both, both amazing. So now um, I'm gonna go ahead and just take off the lip oil, but I have to say, loving it. and most of the tint is probably gonna come off or the stain because of the lip oil. But you know what? It's actually still there. Wow, this uh, lip tint is really, really nice. I did put a little bit of the Refi lip liner in the shade Fawn, um, just for some shape, but see how even that lip liner just looks really pretty with that lip stain? Obsessed with that lip stain. Okay, so this is called the Infallible Matte Resistance Liquid Lipstick. You have 12 different shades, and it is described as a powdery matte. <laughs> with a lightweight feel, bold color payoff, effortlessly 16 hour wear, transfer and smudge resistant. I'm hoping that's kind of like the new um, Milani ones that um, hopefully are not like super drying. So I did pick the shade 115 Snooze Your Alarm. Really nice packaging by the way. And then this is the applicator. So let's do this. A lot of color payoff. Oh wow, very pigmented. Right now, it feels like thick and creamy. As you guys can see, I didn't even have to um, dip back in. Like it gave me this much product right off the bat. And this applicator is actually really nice because I was able to get some like sharp lines. So I'm gonna let this dry for a bit um, and I'll be right back and give you guys my final thoughts. Alrighty guys, excuse the hair. I have to wash it really, really bad. So we'll be doing that today. The lips. And they feel like 99% dry. Um, right now, they still feel very comfortable and they don't look drying. Like it looks like I have like a bullet lipstick on. So for the sake of the video, I know you guys love it when I say that, um, I will let you know right here how it wore for a couple hours and let you guys know. But I will say first impressions, so far so good. Beautiful shade, great pigment, um, looks very pretty on the lips and um, so far so good. So that is the end of the video. Uh, thank you for taking this roller coaster ride with me. I hope that you guys don't mind just, you know, how much happened, but hopefully I helped you guys out in any way with uh, information that you guys needed on these brand new products. Of course, I will leave everything linked down below. Let me know if you guys have a question down in the comments or just come say hi. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.